until the next day came. Ladies and gentlemen, like my guy Will alluded to, the Commanders lose to the Browns 24 to 10. And with that loss, ladies and gentlemen, we have been eliminated from the playoffs. Will, I, I just, I guess my thing is they gave us hope, Will. We talked about it in December to remember. We talked about having games late in the season that we could care about. We got mm -hmm. all of it. And this is the second year in a row that we've laid an egg mm -hmm. late in the year, man. What What are your thoughts, man? Yeah, you know, it's – it's it was, first off, it's a good thing that we wait till Wednesday to do this show. Yeah. Because Sunday, you know, I could not have done an emergency pod. It might not have been the right frame of mind. No. Nope. Like many Washington fans, I'm pissed off. Yeah. But I'm also embarrassed. You know, I'm I'm ticked off the fact that here we are again missing the playoffs. I'm ticked off the fact, just like you you said, we we had ourselves set up and we we just we tanked again. Yep. You know. I'm I'm embarrassed of the fact that three out of four teams in the NFC East are going to be in the playoffs, and one team's not going to be in that. And who is that? Left hand up. Yeah, right, right. I'm, I'm going to write on right, 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 you're right. Kind of. But you know, so it's it's just so dang frustrating. And I think I mean I think the anger that you saw after the during the game after the game from fans, you know, it's real. Yeah, and it it's and it's spreading and they they unveiled a new team name and they wanted to have all this positive momentum and they had a chance and we crashed and burned so yeah it's a, it's a tough loss it, this this is a game again another week that i felt like we should have won we could have won we held him to three points in the first half well i mean i you know and our offense didn't look great but we still, our defense was playing well. Our running game was getting the ball, you know, maneuvering, uh, matriculating the ball down the field. It, we, even with all the things, even with the two interceptions, even with us struggling on offense, we still were in this ball game. But it was another one of these games that second half took off on us. And it's just like, what is the major disconnect here? Mm -hmm. This was a game we needed. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, playoff implications. You know, I w I had gone on Let's Talk Football saying, this is it. Four teams will make it to the playoffs. We started off one and four. We're going to make it. We should have, we should be in at least a conversation right now. But unfortunately, because of our poor play, and there's a lot of things that go in. It's not just Carson Wentz. We'll talk about it, but uh, – it, 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 it's it's frustrating, Will. It's frustrating because it's almost like you could call it out. Like, here it comes. Okay. And it's like, it's a mixed emotions going into this game because it's like, oh, I feel good. And we both picked nice scores. Like, we can uh -huh. get this W. But then there was that in the back of your mind where it's like, mm, Carson's going back in. What do we really expect from Carson? You know what I mean? It was like, what's going on? And, and he didn't disappoint. But we'll talk about that, Will. But, oh, man. Oh, what the? Uh, why, why are you yeah. broadcasting that? I saw I'm that. I wasn't going to share that. Because when, because when Sam Howell gets the W against Dallas, oh, I want to remember this comment. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're we're out, man. And and potentially the Packers, the Lions, they're playing for it this week. They're in. Realistically, though, I mean, even if we had won this game, how? What were your thoughts on us potentially getting into the playoffs? If we had one, yeah, I mean, I mean we oh. could have done it, but I mean, I mean, as far as confidence in our team, yeah, I mean, I had every expectation that that we would win the next two games, yeah. you know, the final two games. Um, now I do know that you know Dallas actually now has something to play for because Philly has lost two in a row, and so yeah. the division is up for grabs, I believe, but. I still would have thought that there was enough going there for the players that want to win. You could, you know, they talked all about it. It's like all they care about is winning. There's guys that have been in that locker room both as, as Redskins and now as commanders that haven't had a lot of winning and, and they're on the verge of it. So I just felt that the momentum was coming our way. That wave was, was going to be coming. And my gosh, did we lay an egg and, and the offense laid an egg out there all game. And then the defense just, collapse in the second, half. second half 
And they were, I mean, they let Deshaun Watson look like Houston Texans, all pro Deshaun right. Watson. You know, like, hey, great, we, we gave you a chance to get, get your footing back. You right. know, so it was just so frustrating to watch that. And that's what killed me about it, because it felt like we imploded in that second half. You know what I mean? That first half, even though our offense was struggling and we it had to take to the uh, what, a 21 play drive for right. us to get a the nine minute on. drive. Right. Or 12 for us minute to, drive. It's nuts. Yeah. It's for us to get the touchdown. Like it, it took all that, but our defense bend but don't break. I mean, we 100% epitomized that in that first half. And I mean, look, that second half, like you said, we made him look like he was the old guy. Like, like he was the the Deshaun Watson of old, and it wasn't even it was our miscues, it was our mistakes. You know what I mean? Nothing more epitomizes it than I think it was in actually the first half when Obata uh as sitting here goes in, has a clean shot and sacks, and then kind of stops. And then all of a sudden Watson rolls out and then I think he throws a pass. And it's like it, it's just one of those it's just that that kill that 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 kill instinct that we could get this done. We need to, this is urgent. There was no urgency in it. And at home with obviously what we're talking about, major Tutty, the mask out <laughs> coming out and everything. It just didn't seem like we lived up to all those expectations that we had set for ourselves. And you know what? This is like, so there's a chance this Sunday could be Dan Steiner's last game as, as mm. owner of the Washington franchise. Mm. And Last Sunday's game was like the complete epitome of what he is. Yes. All this pregame hype, all this buildup to what is this going to be, this great spectacle at FedEx Field. There's hype. There's excitement. The fans are into it. There's a chance for success. We're thinking, all right, here we go. And the team just collapses. Yeah. Just like under his ownership, the team has had how many years that they have hyped up off-season additions, new coaches, you know, set up for success. All these fans getting so hyped about the team in August, and then by December, we're stopped going to games. You know, it's like so. It's almost kind of fitting if 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 he's on his way out the door that we give one last clunker. You know, exactly. on his way out to say like, "Yep, you suck as an owner, and this right. is what you are." <laughs> yes, and hey, hopefully that's the way it is. Now, obviously, in this game, we want to see us earn. Uh, bond together for Sam Howe's sake, but I absolutely agree. And it, it, it's rough. It's terrible to think about. And we're going to talk about another thing that might potentially come, that's going to be coming up this week, another Jersey retirement that almost seems a little off timing and just like, come on now, it, you know. Thanks for watching. If you like that clip, be sure to check out the other great content from the Let's Talk Football community. And as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this becomes available.